Hi, I'm starting a new painting right now and I keep on forgetting to record like anything about it. So I'm doing this right now at the very beginning. So I actually have things to show. I'm finishing the sketch right now. Yeah, I've been nicknaming this the gender painting because I don't know what to call it yet. Also the bathroom painting as it's- <gasps> I thought that was a spider but it wasn't, don't worry. The bathroom painting has been nicknamed my family because it includes me peeing. This is a real photo of me and peeing. I'll explain it later, but there's a reasoning for all of this. If you've seen, if you've seen my artwork before, you might know it's um, mostly blue. But this time, I got pink. It's gonna be pink and blue because you get it. Because like the gender painting is pink and blue, the symbolism. Anyway, it might be all pink. I'm not sure. I think I want this to be very monochromatic. My organ blue painting that I did, um, Guts and Glory, is blue, but it has like purple in it, and I don't want any of that in this one. I want it to be very much just pink, and shades of pink, and like red, but red is pink. Right now I'm finishing the sketch. Maybe I'll, should I record a time lapse? We'll see, we'll see how this, this is the test run video. Ow. <coughs> anyway, this is the first video watching on me, because it's probably gonna be one of the first few posted. This is like a test run, okay? I'm learning, so oh. I promise, actually I don't promise, my art videos won't be this weird, or not weird, this messy. Anyway, goodbye. Hello, this is the voiceover version of me. I kind of wanted to just narrate a little bit of what I'm doing, uh, partially because I want to bombard you with constant stimulation so you don't get bored of this video, but also because I like to talk a lot, and I actually had to cut off a lot of things I was saying, and this video, which is kind of embarrassing so how much I talk a lot. But here's me sketching it, and I'm gonna take a break soon because sketching is like really tiring for me. I hate sketching, but um, you know what? Let me just take my break right now. Okay, so that's the sketch. Graffiti bathroom, very cool, very fun. I'm so pissed now. I haven't really thought about like the color scheme besides the fact that I just want to paint. So, um, We'll see what happens, I guess. I can't tell if I want to make it blue and pink or just pink. This my life is so hard. Okay, we're back. I'm definitely gonna take another break after this, I already know, because part of my sketching is just laying out the base colors. Uh, I don't really do an underpainting. I mean, I guess this would be considered an underpainting, but sometimes I kind of just start going with like shading and whatever, just to map out what I'm doing. I There's no really rules for art. Like, I don't really care so my first layer is just always like whatever I want like a little bit of shading a little bit of sketching uh that sort of deal and now I'm just continuing on with that base color sketching after whatever the hell that was that cel celery part I'm not sure why I kept that in I honestly don't remember even filming that part but Lots of pink. This is before I knew the color palette, by the way, what I was doing. So that's why it kind of looks a little wonky, I think, personally. Thanks. It looks so pretty in the light. Okay, so I changed it to blue. I think it looks a lot better now. It's kind of hard to tell because of the lighting right now the blue works a lot better. And I painted everything pink, just so I can kind of see what's going on. But I really like the blue. I think that is going to be the only blue though. I'm not gonna go crazy like last time. I'm gonna lay the base for this side, which is gonna be really fun to do all the graffiti and stuff. And I think I'm going to make this the same kind of color as the toilet, because I like how this looks very light pink with a bit of red. So here's me doing the other side, which initially I was dreading, but this became my favorite side, which is, I think, kind of funny. Uh, I was like really not excited to do this because I like working with like human beings and like those type of subjects, but I actually really enjoyed doing the wall bits. Very fun. This is what we have to work with right now. This is the current fit, the current artwork fit. So I only have a little bit of time to work on this because I'm gonna be hanging out front, but the colors, the base colors are all down. They're all, they've all been put down 
which I am very happy about except for these like buckles but that doesn't matter but now I can kind of like understand what I'm working with I think the blue was a really good idea however I'm going to make the whole thing light blue instead of dark blue like I think I want this to be the actually darkest blue so ignore how badly this is painted just focus on the colors um I think I like it a lot more I think it's a lot more balanced making this the darkest color I don't even know what color paint this is though because I thought it was this but it's not. Remember when I said the wall bits were really fun? I lied. I hate, I hate this wall. I hate this wall. I spent so much time trying to figure out the colors. You probably are gonna be seeing this clip of me painting this stall door like eight billion trillion times because I didn't know what like kind of pink I wanted. I didn't know how to make a wall look not boring. I like a lot of like chaos with my art. So I was like, how do I, how do I make this plain ass wall? have substance that was really really hard for me and then i messed up so so bad as you could tell by the weird amount of purple and i did not i only wanted this to be pink and blue but of course i'm like oh maybe i should try to do some purple but that failed and i spent another like day and a half just covering it and trying to recover so yeah this stall door was literal torture for me and the room smelled so weird because i kept on using the hair dryer and for some reason like these paints like stink when you use the hair dryer which usually doesn't happen but i was like breathing in some fumes like i'm sure a few of my brain cells are absolutely just destroyed dead and gone because like yeah but you know it worked it looked smooth um i had my one goon on i had my chuckle sandwich on so i was pretty entertained and then i started the graffiti which um, was so fun. I'm not a perspective person, as I'm sure you could tell, but I didn't really care. I kind of wanted to look a little wonky, but it, it was like a really interesting process because I was trying to repl replicate the reference photo, add my own things, but also like I know nothing about perspective. So I wanted, I was like, it was like hard to make it look proper because it's like a looking down sort of wall situation. It's like a weird angle. I took it like 0.5 on my phone. And then I started smearing, like an experimental sort of thing. Um, I highly recommend finger painting. This was so fun. And it made me feel really like involved with my art. So I remember like hearing like crazy artists talk about like how like physically being involved with art, like smearing stuff with your hands, like makes you feel more connected to the piece. And I remember being like, okay, like serve, like that's silly. But like, it's so true because now I really like this piece and I think this side is one of my favorites because of like how I was smearing everything and uh you'll see later it looks like actually really cool <sighs> there the hair dryer again bro it smells so fucking bad but yeah so that's just me doing a little graffiti and I went in with sharpie because I decided I wanted to make it a look a little more cartoonish uh I am used to working not working i'm used to drawing like cartoonish images i guess i either do like weird realism like stylized or like very cartoonish and i felt like this piece was like an in-between of like all the styles i do so i wanted to have that like some detailed elements like these tiles i'm starting on are pretty detailed i think and then some like very just like obvious like cartoonish stuff like the the sharpie and these tiles were really fun. Um, I broke my ruler after this, which kind of sucked, but the tiles are really fun. It accidentally went a little too like ham with them, I feel like. Like, I feel like they kind of threw everything off for a second, but I really like painting reflective surfaces and like shines and stuff. I'm a big shiny person. If you've seen my other artwork called, if you see my other artwork, like the guts one, there's a lot of like glitter and shine and stuff. I'm a big, that's the big thing for me. So I kind of went overboard, but. But honestly, it's dark in here, but it honestly looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so pretty. I love bathrooms. Anyway, I'm going to take this off, but I wanted to do it. That would be satisfying. Oh, never mind. So much voiceover, but I'm like not talking for some reason for so long sometimes okay it's kind of funny but sometimes when i get really into art i like do not speak to anybody and i low-key go mute sometimes like throughout the day i'll just not speak so i wasn't really feeling like talking so that's kind of why i'm doing a lot of voiceover 
if you wanted to watch me paint without me talking, I am so sorry, but that is not how I operate. I am chatting 24 seven. I'm a, I'm a talker. I want constantly to say my thoughts 24 seven, but you know, that's just, it's fun, it's fun. And so yeah, I'm still doing the fucking wall. Jesus, why is it taking so long? Hurry up, girl. Why am, ugh. bruh, come on, do your wall. And then I had to bring it to school. Okay, oh my God, finally, it's something I could talk about. I had to bring this to my dorm. And it, this was so stressful doing this in my dorm because I have two roommates and I live in a dorm, I don't live in an apartment. So we share a room. So I had my shit spread out like in the middle on the floor, nothing like under my, whatever, my paint. So I was just painting on the floor and the fear I had 24 seven, I was so anxious. I was, in, I honestly didn't film some stuff like there you, you might be able to notice there's like pieces missing. Cause I was so scared my roommates were gonna walk in cause nobody knows that I post stuff. Like my art accounts on Instagram, TikTok, and here now, nobody knows like anything. Like my closest friends don't know, my family doesn't know. So I was scared that my roommates would walk in and be like, why are you filming? So I'm like, uh, I, like, I, 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 I don't know, like for YouTube and then I have to talk about that. So I was really scared, but you know, fear made me work faster. So that was a little bonus. And I forgot if I talk here, but it looked really good. Hi, so I haven't worked on that artwork in like four weeks, I'm gonna be real. Cause I keep on forgetting, but I have time to do it right now cause I'm stuck in my dorm because I think someone just like either gave birth, had diarrhea or like threw up in the toilet that's right next to my dorm. So I'm stuck in here because as soon as I walk outside, I collapse. It literally like, I'm good. I just heard someone walk into the bathroom. <sighs> good luck. Anyways, I'm gonna finish the right side. Like I'm gonna do all the Sharpie and I'm pretty sure I'm done painting. I think I seen do Sharpie cause the rest I wanna do with colored pencil. If this colored pencil thing doesn't work, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So this is where I've been keeping my painting right in between this little crack uh and uh, anyways um i've just been painting in the middle of the dorm like this so somehow i'm still fucking doing this side i'm still doing it i'm still doing it i got my sharpie going sharpie was a savior for me i think and that's why i was so hyped about colored pencil i don't know if i mentioned that i probably did like eight times i was so hyped about colored pencil because i love pens and pencils and they really did save the piece. It's a little wonky. Okay, I recognize this is wonky, but you know, I think wonkiness is a little silly sometimes. I honestly was not liking it because it's just so different than what I usually do, but I really like this. This, this is cute, I vibe with this. Now I just have to, I think once I actually do the side a little bit, it will look better to the eyes because this looks so wacky. Oh my god, now I gotta do this side, dude. Oh, you do not realize how, like, done I was after this. It was like, I, I, and I did not want to paint a fucking toilet. I was, like, so over it. But, um, I think when I started doing these legs, it wasn't as bad as I thought. And I got into it. I had my video on. I was just, like, to some really awful stuff. I was just, like, to, like, this crazy nuclear disaster stuff. But it made me work fast. It was good. Hello, I just got back from ghost hunting and I'm alone in the dorm. So I'm gonna continue uh, painting and um, it's going it's going good. Let me show you what I have so far. So this is, so this is what it looks like so far. Um, I've done a little bit of the blue legs. I think it looks pretty good so far. Um, you may be wondering, wow, that looks so out of place with everything. That's slightly the point. That's slightly the point, but also it won't look as out of place. I just have to, it looks just kind of crazy right now because of how like detailed it is compared to this. But um, once I do, I'm gonna do the walls of this guy real quick. I'm gonna do right here, right here, right here. I'll do the tiles and stuff. And then um, this, I think I'll, I'll be done with this for now. I'll do the colored pencil. Maybe I'll do the Sharpie actually over this. Um, yeah, because I'm okay with, like, I kind of want the colored pencil to go over the Sharpie a little bit. 
So I'm gonna do that real quick and yeah. Hi, no voiceover for this one. I'm gonna give you guys a break. Cause I'm talking about like 8 billion trillion fucking things at once and I'm sure it's annoying a little bit, but I like also don't really care. You know what? Now there is gonna be a voiceover on this of me just saying how I don't want a voiceover. Oh my God. I kind of am slaying though, look at this. I'm slaying a little bit. Um, here's just an update of what my painting looks like. Here's what it looks like currently. Wow, it kind of looks good. This is like the main part I'm working on right now. I've realized now I'm like kind of embarrassed to show people because that's literally me. But like, they don't know that. You guys know that though. I tried to explain it to certain people. Some people don't get it. Some people do. And some people just think it's kind of weird. But I don't know. I think it's cute. Like, without... I, uh, it is kind of weird though, isn't it? I'm spending all my time doing this. But it means something. I swear. I'm literally filming this to force myself to work on it today. Okay, now the voiceover is back for good of me actually explaining it. Because the tiles were like the main part of this piece that really brought it together, I think brought the perspective together. And uh, it was kind of rough at first because I was like, do I make these as shiny as the other ones? Which I ended up doing, but I didn't want it to like throw it off. But I love tiles. Ba why are bathroom tiles so fun to paint with? I mean, paint of, paint to paint. Yeah. Oh my God, it looks so fucking um, good. Oh, sorry, I'm talking. It's bad, I don't like it. No, I do, I love, I love it so much, but like, the color pencil that definitely just come through. I definitely am biased. I like this side more. The side is, um, it's, it's, it's something. And then I end up bringing it home again. That's how long I've worked on it. But this is the last stretch. This is the last transportation. I was so excited to work on this. Finally doing the colored pencil, the thing I've been waiting for this whole time. I've been hyping up for no reason because honestly it didn't make much of a difference. But to me personally, it made all the difference. It added dimension, it added style. It got the sketchiness. I'm a big Holly Warburton fan, okay? If you don't know her work, look up Holly Warburton, like Tim Burton, but war. She is like, oh my God, bro. Like I love her sketchiness and like unrealistic colors. So that's kind of what I go for, for a lot of my stuff. She's like my biggest inspiration. So the colored pencil, like to me would just bring this whole thing fucking together. Like, oh my God, I think it did. Honestly, maybe if like you're watching this and you're an artist, you, you'll, you'll get it. Does that, does that sound like pretentious? I just mean like small details, I feel like are easier to notice when it's another artist. Um, especially these details with the colored pencil because I think they're subtle or maybe I'm crazy You know, I thought I was colorblind for a period of time and that was really stressful because I am an artist And I want this to be like my career not necessarily painting, but I'm, I'm an uh, I'm an art major. So like Can you imagine if I was colorblind? What if I am this is blue and pink, right? The body's blue and the, th the other the other stuff's pink if this is like green and yellow Can you imagine? Oh, anyway, I'm done. <laughs> this is the grand reveal. I'll, I'll be quiet and let you enjoy it. time jump i'm back at home now and i just want to say a few like final words about this painting i guess also so much time has passed from doing this painting my hair is different and i'm sick so like that kind of shows how long i've been doing this but i finally finished um this artwork i named it unbecoming naming this was really tricky because i feel like the meaning isn't super obvious and i'll talk about that meaning in a minute i don't know how much i don't know how this video turned out by the way this is my first time like recording something like this it was actually really fun i'm gonna do a lot of videos like this i think but naming this was really hard because i know i wanted it to kind of like represent the meaning but also like be as cryptic as it is visually i don't know how to explain it unbecoming just like i was just like wait that makes sense so maybe it's just like a personal title that makes sense but 
Anyway, so the meaning of this painting. When I started this painting, I uh, actually was still in high school and I took a picture of myself because I was like peeing, okay? And there was so much like graffiti on the walls and I really like graffiti, especially in bathrooms. I think it's beautiful. So if you draw in your bathrooms, I don't, I mean, I'm not saying like, that's good, no vandalism, don't vandalize stuff, guys. I think it's pretty because it shows there's like life. I think no wall should be blank. You don't know what my bedroom looks like, but all my all my walls are covered. I think a blank space is just like a waste of space. Everything should be covered. So I took a picture of the graffiti, which is what this panel is. And I was like, wow, I wanna draw it because it was interesting because the graffiti was a mix of like positive affirmations and also like, really weird stuff and I thought that was cool because I was like that's like what being in high school felt like when I was took a picture of this I was listening to Custer by Slipknot that's how you say it right Custer anyway but the lyrics that I was listening to at the moment was the part where it says somewhere on a toilet wall I read the lines you formalize you form the lines to formalize your former lives and I the lyrics are somewhere on a toilet wall you read I read the words you form a line to formalize the former lies. I finally saw the truth. Something so profound, and it was sitting there surrounded by the garbage and the stains, another victim of the refuse. I love that part, okay? Even though I messed it up when I was saying it, I'm not a fake fan, okay? I have really bad memory, okay? I was listening to that part in the song, and I was like, oh, that's me. Like, that's me right now. Because something so beautiful was in a bathroom. And I was like, I should paint it because it's so beautiful. That was the goal for this side, and then I was like, Okay, I kind of wanted to do like a duo, a dual thing because I was really interested in like split screen stuff at the time, like especially photography. So I was like, I want to take another picture. And then when I was going to pee, I was like distracted on my phone and I pulled down my pants and I was like standing up. And for some reason, I like just my mind just like buffered or whatever for a second. And I thought I could stand up to pee for a second. And I thought this was really interesting. And I, I laughed about it. I was like, why did I just forget I don't have a pee for a second? But I thought it was really funny. But at this time, it was my senior year of high school. And it was also when I was having like stuff with like my gender come up. I don't know how to describe it. I think if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But basically just like gender stuff. I took a picture because I liked the, the way it looked. I liked the way I stood there. I liked the way you could see the wall. So I took a picture. I decided this is going to be the other half of the drawing. So I wanted this to be about gender. And I wanted people to see it in different ways. I wanted people to... Because I, when I was explaining it to like my friends and then like my family and stuff, they all kind of saw it differently. And I really liked that. So a few people interpret it as like the limitations of being a girl in our society, like feeling inferior based off of just like patriarchy, like that sort of thing, which I love because that's what it's about. Like it's about whatever you think it's about. So it's like about that too. It's like blue and pink because it's like, that's like, you know, the stereotype of the colors, at least currently, because it used to be. Pink used to be from men in like what, the 50s, I don't know. But for 2023, pink and blue commonly represent male and female so I wanted that like strict distinction the world is like sees me as female but like internally I feel like more masculine but that's not how I perceive and like I mean that's not how I feel like I feel like whatever I, I don't know how I don't know how to explain it properly I this is this, this is what sucks about explaining my art and also there's more detail on the blue body and I wanted this blue body to represent me first because I love blue all my shit is blue so I was like okay this is like me I'm blue and there's if you notice there's no spectrum there's no in between because I believe like gender is a spectrum which it is like psychologically like technically gender is uh, an identity spectrum it's not whatever I won't get into it but um there is no spectrum of colors it is just pink and blue and I did it really purposefully because I was like should I add some purple but I was like, no, because that's the in-between and I don't want, I want it to be very like black and white because that's how, like, realistically, that is how the world is and it sucks. And I often get really trapped in like my own bubble because all my friends and I like have really open conversations about gender and sexuality. I often get trapped in this bubble where I think, you know, yeah, everybody knows like you could just do whatever you want for gender. Gender is just an identity. And then I get like kind of like a wake up call whether it's on the internet or I meet someone and I'm like, oh, um, I feel like that's all I could talk about for this. I really like this. I really like how this turned out. I tried like some really different stuff with this. It's mixed media, it's acrylic, colored pencil, which is just about 15 minutes long. Dude, this, should, this part's longer than the whole fucking video. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna end this here. Ah, 15 minutes. 
a bird is right into my window. Okay, that means it's time to go. So thank you so much for watching this mess of a video. My posture, holy shit. I did not look like that the whole time, right? Thank you so much for watching this video. Actually, like, thank you. Like, this means so much because why would you watch this video like this? You don't know who I am or anything about me. And you still choose to watch this. So it means a lot to me. And if you made it this far, oh my god, why am I quoting Wendy right now? Sorry, I like was just watching him. I don't want to steal his outro. But basically, like, if you're still watching, that means you might want to probably watch some of my videos. So you should probably subscribe just in case, like, I decide to upload more. And also, I have prints for sale on my imprint bunch of more stuff you know if you if you hate this if you're watching this long just so you can see if it gets better like and you're like disappointed with how it looks i have other art that you could like and uh if you know me personally please click off the video and don't tell me you watch this i don't want to know um i'm gonna start another art piece and so i'll have a brand new video probably in another month but in that meantime hopefully i upload other little stuff and this part is 17 minutes long holy shit okay i uh, I talk way too much for YouTube. Bye, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.